9. Uh, the financial statements for a sole proprietorship. Okay, now we know that at the end, after we all the work we did, we need to do a financial statement. So we need to be representing the numbers that we did in chapter 8, 7, 6, and all that. So now chapter 9 will do this for us. So the first statement is going to be the income statement. Okay, now remember, income statement involves what? Uh, before we do that, and this is where we are right now. So this is the accounting uh, cycle. So we are somewhere here. Okay, the income statement, the, the statement of changes, and then we're going to do the balance sheet. So we're doing those three statements in this chapter. Cash flow statements, uh, it's going to have a, a different chapter by itself. So we'll leave it alone. So financial statements, like I said before, what does it involve? It involves the mainly revenue expense, right? So that's it. So it's only have revenue and expense in it because we need to know if we're making money or we're losing money. So it's a profit or loss, for example. Now, we, I'm going to show you how it's going to look like. So for example, look at this one here. This is the, this is the worksheet from chapter 8. The worksheet has what in it we have remember we have the the second two the two columns which is income statement so you could see that you have revenue here and you have expenses here so now revenue minus expenses you're going to end up with either net profit or net loss so net profit means we made money net loss means we lost money so this is what's going to show here it's going to show a profit of one thousand one hundred fifty dollars now, add it to the expenses. You can see that it's going to be balancing. So the two columns will be balanced. Okay, now, the next two columns after that will be what? The balance sheet. So the balance sheet will leave it to the next section. We'll talk about it also. Now, this is how it's going to look like. This is your income statement. So revenue has, first, it's going to be involved, the numbers that we made, how much money we sold. Then expense shows how much money we spent, right? Now, we can see there, advertisement expenses you, have, you can see there's maintenance expenses they have rent expenses utility expenses all those things that will be counted and then at the end it's going to be subtracted from the revenue now if it's a positive number that means it's a net income if it's a negative number it's going to be a, a net loss in, in this case but uh, we can see that we made money so now this is another example of uh, revenue minus expenses but here we we did lose money because our expenses were higher than our revenue okay so you can see this is a net loss here so the next sections will be the same thing we'll be talking about the statement of changes okay statement of changes is something probably you know you're not familiar with 100 percent so it shows the capital and it shows you know any withdrawals by the owner it shows also the net income the one we just did remember it has to be done in order so net uh, income statement first then statement of changes next then the last thing is going to be the balance sheet. Balance sheet will show you, you know, all everything else besides uh, uh, revenue and expense in, in, in the last two columns. So you can see all, everything has been mentioned here except the two uh, uh, accounts, which is revenue and expense. And uh, that will be it. And the, like I said, cash flow statement will be mentioned in a different chapter. All right. We'll talk about, uh, yeah, yeah, by the way, ratios, we're going to be doing the ratios here. So we have property uh, probability, uh, what's what the profitability ratio? Sorry, return on sales. We have current assets. We have current liability. Working capital. We're going to be talking about. Uh, we're going to be talking about liability ratio, current ratio. That's all we're going to be doing in class. Okay, and the last thing is quick ratio. Right. So that's a quick review of the uh, chapter, and we'll we'll see you guys in school. Bye bye.